tensor part two. So we are continuing with where, what where we have left. We have uh, done this part, which is how to understand the different subscripts. What do they really mean? And we have also learned a little bit about Einstein's field equations, what this is about, and how the uh, tensors in Einstein's field equation represent. So we have just done this one. So R mu nu, these are all these tensors, and we have listed down what what could be the uh, what could be the names of these tensors. So this would be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So the mu nu takes up the dimension of space and time in this part. Okay. So what we do now is that we are trying to find out how to, how to find out a stress vector. So in order to find out a stress vector, what I need to do is that, first of all, I need to draw, draw a nine component stress. And uh, from that, we need to find out the stress vector. So I'll just draw quickly over here the <laughs> stress vector. So uh, what I need to draw is a cube. So I will draw a bigger one uh, so that the components are clear. So this is a cube. And I join the parts so that it becomes a three-dimensional part, right. So we have, we have got this cube, right. And uh, what we do now is that, let me uh, name those uh, parts. So uh, what we got over here. So we can call this as, okay, I will use a different color so that it is easy. So from here, I make a x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. Here I have got a x-axis, y-axis, and a z-axis. From here, I have got a x-axis, and a y-axis, and a z-axis, right? And I can name them. I'm not using omega or something. What I will do simply is that I will use this script. All uh, right. Yes. So we use this one. So I will use T just for tensor. T. Just TXX. And I will use for this TXY. So now that you have understood the components, I think it will be now easier for you to understand. So see, this is TXZ. So and now we go uh, for this is the X plane. So we move on to the Y plane. So we get this one, this one as TYX. This one goes to the Y part. So this is <coughs> T, right? So this is the TYX. This is the TZX and we have got this part uh, which symbolizes TZZ and this is TZX and this is TZY and um, things, yeah, this is TYX, this is, yeah, this is TYX, this is TYY, this is TYZ, this would be TYZ. So that's why, you know, this becomes a little bit cumbersome. So let me now uh, draw over the matrix so it becomes visible for you. So the matrix looks, looks something like this. So what we can use over here is that we will name them. So I name it as TXX, TXY, and TXZ. Then we have got TYX. Then we have got TYY and we have got TYZ. We have got TZX. We have got TZY and we have got TZZ. Right. So this is basically the stress tensor. Right. And what I am going to do is that, for example, this is a straight vector which is, which is being pointed over here. And I use this as V. So this is a vector which is perpendicular and is coming out of this particular plane. So let me see. Yeah. So this is visible, right? This black part. So this vector V is just straight. It is coming out of that. So how can we find the stress vector? Very simple. So what I will do is that I will use S for stress, right? So S, I use this one. I take a dot product of the vector V. So this one, which is V. 
So I take a dot product of V, so I write it as V, right? And I use this tensor, I put a, a double line so that you can understand that it is a tensor. Now this V, I would say this part, this V uh, will have uh, the X, Y and Z coordinates. So I can put it over this one as Vx, Vy and Vz. Simple. V coming out of this plane straight and we have got uh, stress as a tensor. We are trying to find it out. So what I will do is that I need to write it over here. So I can put it as Vx, Vy, Vz. And again I put this part, part of the tensor. So it is Txx, Txy, Txz. Then we have got TYX, TYY, this is Y, and then of course TYZ, and we have got TZX, TZY, and TZZ. So when making a dot product of this, right, so I'm just multiplying this by this. So what I get is that this can be written as V, this I'm writing it as V, dot this part is the tensor T and what we get is S that is a stress vector. So I put is S stress vector. Right? Now if I consider those to be just 1 0 0 as I put it over here. So I can just put it and we can make a dot product. Mind it we are doing a dot product. So I will just put it as 1 X Z Y as 0 V Z as 0. And I'm taking a dot product again of this matrix, Txx, Txy, this is coming a little bit boring, but you have to bear with me, to Yx, Tyy, Tyz, and then we have a Tzx, Tzy, Tzz. So what it yields, if you do a dot product, it will only yield the components of Txx, and then it will give you Txy and it will give you Txz. Simple. Simple. Right? And this would be equal to the stress vector. So you, you got it. You, I, I believe it is quite fairly simple. So we have got this stress vector V which is a, a plane vector or a normal vector technically. We are taking a dot product of this. Right? S equals to V dot T and we we are assuming these values as 1 0 0 multiplied by this tensor which is the stress tensor equals to just the vector tx ty and tz and eventually it leads to s which is the vector a stress vector now you see uh, i will just put a different color so that you can understand this part this part say for example okay let me uh, mark it as red this part Txx, Txy and Txz is basically all the forces with vector B, V pointing towards the X direction. See, all the forces of vector V pointing towards this X plane that is X direction. This part, this part, Tyx, so as I told you in the previous line, uh, in the previous video that this one is the direction in which it is happening, right? In, the, in which plane it is happening. You have seen that in the earlier uh, part. If you see, uh, I think I have got it here. I will just show you. Yeah, see this one. I, I, I showed you that this is the, uh, the first subscript shows the plane on which uh, stress is occurring. The second subscript shows uh, in which direction uh, the, it is happening. So plane on which it is occurring direction. So you got it here, right? So now you see this is the Y plane. So this denotes actually, uh, what it denotes, it denotes all the forces of vector V, which is a plane vector, uh, occurring in Y direction. This is the Y direction, right? And the third one, which is the Z part, Zx, Zy and Zz, all the forces which are happening and occurring in the Z plane in this direction. So I can just summarize, I can just summarize in this part that this, and this and this all are basically meaning uh, all forces, all forces uh, with the vector V, with say V, which is the plane vector, pointing towards, pointing to either X direction 
or y direction or the z direction. So this part of the tensor represents that all the vectors which are pointing towards the x direction. Where is my q? I lost it? No. <laughs> it's here. This part points all the forces happening in the y plane pointing in different directions and the z part, this part de denotes all the forces, all the stress which is happening in the z uh, plane and occurring in the z direction. Similarly, you see that it is all the same. xx, yy and zz. That means this would be a plane stress, this will be the shear stress. So uh, I ha still have a topic to go but I have to pause over here because these two videos will make up part two of the stress uh, of the tensor. The, the final part, uh, let me see if I can make it today or else I will have to find it a time. That is how to find the values of a stress tensor. That means these are our assumptions, right? X, Y, X, but there is no real value. Can you find any value for that? I think there is no 10, 12, 13, any sine, theta or uh, gamma, anything like that. So in the next video, we will be trying to find out the values of the stress tensor. That means we will substitute some real values in those indices and we will try to find it out. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. So just to recap, this part shows how the stress vector and what is the uh, a typicality of a tensor, why we should take up a tensor because tensor or can denote these three parts magnitude, direction and the plane of application which essentially vector is unable to do that. So that brings to the end. I hope you like it. If you have any further question please put up in the comment box. Please like, please subscribe and uh, I hope that you have a and I hope you have a, a nice time. You enjoyed and you really liked this tensor part. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.